All right, so I saw this really cool motion blur effect with halftone on Instagram. So I said, I gotta give it a try. So this is how you do it. I gotta go with this image as a reference. And I also gotta go to image, image size. And I gotta go to the height and resize it to 4,000. So it's gonna be like height 2,600 by 4,000, click OK. I gotta go and select the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm gonna select the model's face, half of it. Press Control C, Control V. Right click on the new layer. Convert a smart object. Now we're gonna go to the filter, blur, select motion blur. I'm gonna go with 470 ish. Click OK. Let's go again to filter. Let's go to filter gallery. And we're gonna go to the texture, select the grain. And we're gonna change it from regular to horizontal. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of black surface. I'm gonna make it a little bit more transparent. Something like this, click OK. Press and hold Shift, select both layers, right click, convert a smart object, and let's go to the filter, filter gallery. Now we're gonna go to the sketch. Let's select the reticulation. I'm gonna go with density 12, foreground level three, and the background level should be somewhere in the middle. Let's go down and click on the plus. Let's go and select the half tone pattern from here. Let's increase the contrast all the way to 100. And I can increase the size quite a bit. You also can manipulate the half tone even better if you go back to the reticulation. And here you can adjust the density, increase or decrease. And this way is going to increase or decrease the details of the half tone. You also can manipulate the foreground level. I'm gonna decrease it to zero and the background. If you don't want the background, you can decrease it. If you want some dotted background, then you can increase. So it's gonna look something like that, but I am going to go with none. So basically it's gonna look something like this. I gotta go back to the half tone pattern. Let's increase it a little bit more until it's gonna be nice and huge. I think I like this one. Let's go down, click on the plus, go to artistic, select the film grain. Let's increase the grain a little bit more. And pretty much these are my settings. Click OK. And there you go. And that is how you make a halftone effect with motion blur here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.